Yo guys, what is up? My name is Shifty. I don't have a motto, and today I'm bringing you guys some hard point on the map. What is this map called? Solar. Um, and I figured I would just tell you guys about uh, how I'm how Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is going so far, and what I think of it. This is the second day of its official release. I got it the third, um, like most people, which they should have just released it on the third anyways. But today's the second official day of its release. Um, and I found out a pretty good class that I've been doing really well on, especially on hardpoint and run and game modes where you have to play very aggressively, but you, can, you should still be able to manage yourself from medium to long distances. So I'm going to use everyone's favorite gun so far in this game, the Battle 27, as a perfect, perfect introduction to what your a good Russian class should comp uh, yeah, be comprised of in this game. Um, the Bell 27 is similar to the PDW, I'd say, in other games, but it's more of an assault rifle. Like, the PDW could be used at, in basically any sort of real, uh, you know, I'm trying to think, any sort of type of engagement with an enemy. And um, it's really, really good at close quarters. It has the maneuverability of a submachine gun, or at least for the most part. Um, it's very, very, very short. And it's really like manageable, especially since there's no recoil. Which, if you slap a uh, foregrip on this thing, it's like a freaking laser beam. Like it's just you're gonna you're gonna hit your target if you have if you have good accuracy. Um. So yeah, that's that's the first part. Um. That's the first real component that uh makes you really 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 um like a challenge. You're gonna challenge your enemy basically. Is what's gonna happen. The second thing you're gonna want to pick your um oh what is it the variate you're gonna want to want to pick your variations. Now for me, my favorite variation of the barrel has to be the 223 round, which basically extends the barrel. It adds in a new type of ammunition. It makes the range longer, and the rate of fire goes up a little bit. And this is very good because of the fact that you're gonna get that submachine gun type of rate of fire with the strength and the range of an assault rifle at medium to long engagements so this is very good for your essential your um you know essential rushing class aggressive class um and it's very 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 easy to use it's you know the most manageable gun of the game so far they're probably gonna nerf it so don't take my words on this but it's probably the best assault rifle in the game if not one of the best guns in the game I think, in my opinion, the only gun that really beats this out for aggressive game modes is the MP11, which is basically just the MP7 of this game, except maybe with a little more recoil. But, um, yeah, another thing I'd like to add is, why you, even if you don't think that variations do something, they do. Hell, they change the look of your gun, for Christ's sakes. Like, the, um, there's a, there's one called the MP7 Twist, or MP11 Twist, I believe it's called. And basically, it's completely different from the stock version. It has no, um, it has no, uh, folding stock. And it's yellow and gray, and it's really cool looking. And, um, yeah, those really help with your engagements. And, uh, whether you like it or not, it's pretty much like having an attachment on the gun when you really don't need one. So, um, the next thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is your exo ability. Now... Personally, I like to use the exo ability that gives you speed. I think it's called overclock and um, You just hit left bumper to activate it and um, The reason I like to use overclock is because with the new exo suit you're much more capable of dodging your enemy and It's very very easy to you know Just kind of pop off a few shots if you don't if they start shooting at you jump up in the air strafe backwards and uh, take them from behind and that's ba that's basically a uh, Basically, what you got to do in this game is just flank your enemy, outmaneuver them, and with the, uh, excuse me, with with that, uh, exo, uh, exo ability, I'm sorry, I can't, I sometimes have lost for words on these commentaries, and I don't know why, probably because I make them up as I go, but anyways, you're going to want that exo ability, because it's going to be really important to you. Another good exo ability, probably, is, uh, the riot shield, and the invisibility one's pretty cool. But that speed one's going to get you off to your top end fast. Now, your first perk would have to either be Lightweight or Flak Jacket. I think Flak Jacket's in the top, in the first tier, perk tier. And, um, it's really useful, especially in game modes like Hardpoint and War. 
because enemies are going to like are going to shoot grenades at you and it's very 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 useful when it comes to that if you're focusing on trying to put the enemy at as big of a disadvantage as you can it's um it really doesn't change much i the maneuvering perks like if you have light wing on it doesn't change much when you're in your exosuit because most of the time i'm jumping around the map i'm using my exosuit i'm uh you know i'm not i'm not typically on the ground so i don't really have a use for lightweight but if you're let's say you one of those people that like to stay on the ground don't use their full control of the exosuit and they just like to you know stick back and uh you know let the enemy come to them then yeah use lightweight but i like to use flak jacket now for my second my second tier perk i like to use gung-ho gung-ho is super good it basically lets you shoot while you're sprinting which if you're dashing around in midair it's extremely useful because you can't dash and sprint without this perk or dash and fire without this perk and having that even though you can't aim in it does put you at an advantage because while the enemy is trying to readjust for where your position is you can get a couple shots off potentially killing them or you know just if you miss then well that's you miss that's that's just plain and simple um, but it does put you at a big disadvantage over your enemy and it is very very useful so for my equipment I got, oh did I say my third perk my third perk I usually use scavenger just because I go on pretty high kill streaks this is this game isn't a good example of it because for some reason whenever I do get a good example of a gameplay I'm never recording but sometimes I go I tend to go on very long streaks where I just kind of uh, hold down the hard points and when you're holding down the hard points you're gonna want to need scavenger because you have to keep it secure and if you run out of ammo you're screwed so I like to use scavenger that's my personal opinion but uh yeah I've been having a lot of success with this class it, the battle 27 easily you know gonna be the most overused assault rifle in this game I could tell already it's just one of those guns it's like the PDW or the AN94 or the AK AK12 from ghosts or something like that it's gonna be one of those types of guns it's gonna be definitely hard to um hard it's gonna be a force to reckon with within uh competitive too I can tell there's gonna be tons of people using it in the variants and it's great oh okay actually speaking of the variants with the 223 actually with any sort of a uh, with any um with, with any variant even the stock version the best attachments for you to use in my opinion have to be the uh the foregrip which basically allows or no the stock that's the stock and the stock allows you to move around faster. It's just another way to get, uh, you know, the drop on your enemy. So plain and simple as that. Um, and the quick draw grip. And uh, those two perks, you'll have those two perks put together. Even with this, this isn't a submachine gun, but even with a submachine gun, with any any sort of gun really that's not either a sniper or a light machine gun, you're gonna be a force to be reckoned with. With um, those two attachments and this perk setup. It's crazy good, and I would honestly recommend it to anyone who, you know, is having trouble with this game and is just kind of wants to get off to their top end fast. And, um, it's a really good class to use for picking up XP. This and Hardpoint is amazing. It's a great combination. I'm already almost second prestige in this game, and it's been out for a day. So, um, it's, it's a great, great combination of of you know uh <laughs> it's just a great combination for a class and it just it just tears the enemy up because it's 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 just gonna it's gonna revolutionize it's gonna revolutionize shit you better believe it son but um anyways i'm gonna cut this gameplay short mainly because the last part of this gameplay is not too eventful so i'd like to say thank you guys so much for listening in and tuning in i really hope this class set up um I really hope this class setup benefits you, and uh, if it does, leave a comment below. I'm going to go, guys. My name is Shifty. Peace out, and uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.